A portion of today's show is brought to you by Health Diagnostic Laboratory, Inc. Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, when it comes to getting tests done by your doctor, there are some big myths and misconceptions regarding treatment. So our friends from Health Diagnostic Laboratory are here. Dr. Teradol and Boomer is here along with your patient, Chris Gonzalez. Hi, Chris. Hi. So uh, you're with us in an earlier segment um, talking about your results of your advanced testing. Yes, and what we found basically was the basic test that you got for diabetes from your doctor showed you you were great, completely healthy, and then you got the advanced testing and there are some, some issues that, that you need to address. Yes. Um, so let's just, let's dive right into some of the myths about, about treatment, especially for something like diabetes. Right, so well, let's actually first start with what he is doing okay. and what you're taking. And I was just, we were sort of having a curbside conversation about this and I think there's a lot of misconception, but I think it helps to know what you're doing to treat this and address this. And then we'll talk about kind of my okay. thoughts on that. We'll debate this a little bit. <laughs> I feel like we're going to beat you up. I feel like we're going to gang up on you, Chris. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Uh, the first thing is, uh, I mentioned earlier, that I don't big kid that didn't grow up, I don't eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. So that's, I know that's one of my big issues. Um, I'm, I'm taking a lot of uh, medical foods, over-the-counter uh, type vitamins and supplements. And that's what Dr. Dahl and I were discussing and having a little bit of a enlightenment uh, on what I should and should not be doing. Uh, <clears throat> I, like I said, I'm in the medical field, so I've taken my lab to a couple of the providers that I've had decades long experience with. And, you know, I know Dr. Dahl wanted to talk about one of the medications that I'm, oh, over-the-counter products is called Cholestol. Um, another, I've taken uh, over-the-counter vitamin D, uh, high-dose folates to help, uh, I went over from a krill to a fish oil, so I know Dr. Dahl had a couple things to say about that. And red yeast rice? And red yeast rice, yes. Okay, so these were all things that other physicians recommended to you um, to help with your diabetes, to help with your blood sugar, right? Yeah, well, my, the, the cholesterol, the particle sizes, um, uh, coagula coagulation genetic disorders. Uh, but, you know, the one thing that I, I really don't really want to get involved in, I don't want to take a lot of drugs. You know, yeah. be, being in the medical field, you know, every commercial that we see, the side effect profile may include, and then you get a <laughs> They're minute thirty. Uh, okay, so we need to we need to set something straight here because you don't want to take drugs, but yet you're willing to take supplements, yes. which essentially they're drugs too. Right. So it's not as though if you buy something over the counter, it's not a drug. It has an effect. So, for example, red rice yeast, which I am not at all opposed to. I think people who want to be natural with their approach to cholesterol, red rice yeast is a statin. It is lovastatin. It's not regulated, so you don't know how much you're getting. So you don't know what milligram you're getting of lovastatin, but it is a statin. So all the side effects of statins that you may or may not be concerned about, you also will get with red rice yeast. So it's okay. definitely an option, but recognize it is a statin. Any kind of drug interactions you have with statins, you'd also get with red rice yeast. So okay. an option, but just we need to recognize that just because it's over the counter doesn't mean it's not, you know, that it's just safe and well, however much you want to take. Um, the other one, vitamin D, I'm, I'm a huge advocate for vitamin D and I always have been and I think that it's very difficult to get enough vitamin D just from sun mm -hmm. and so I think a supplement of vitamin D makes a whole lot of sense. Vitamin D3, making sure that it's a gel cap, not a tablet so that it gets absorbed. Um, tablets don't get well absorbed so I think that makes a lot of sense. Another thing that he has that he's taking is this thing called cholesterol and I don't know if any of you watched the segment we did a few weeks ago where we had all these supplements mm -hmm. out there but the cholesterol was sold out of the stores I couldn't find it and remember I was very concerned about that because based on people's genetics some people will actually absorb this product which is, is a plant sterile and the way it works is it prevents absorption of cholesterol and so cholesterol goes down but has no effect on these advanced particles and and in fact, if your body has the ability to absorb it, it's actually more toxic to you than your own cholesterol. Now, give me back that report here. Chris. His report. <laughs> Someone's in According trouble. to this report, <laughs> uh, his sterile test, which is one of the things that HDL measures, the sterile absorption test. I mean, you can kind of see there's red all over the place uh -huh. here. So what this means is he absorbs this product. If you absorb that product called cholesterol, it is actually more toxic to you than your own cholesterol. And not only that, it's going to make your numbers worse. And in fact, you know, numbers are turning in the wrong direction. So that, that particular supplement is very dangerous to take mm -hmm. in someone with this profile. Had he not had this test, though, you wouldn't know. Right. You'd have no idea. So, so again, the red rice yeast, that's fine, but that means you're taking a statin. So 
that's not technically drug free. I'd much rather you do the fruits and vegetables approach to this. But, well, Mark, here's you know. the cool thing about it is, is you have a whole staff of folks there that will go through this test with you, go through it with Chris and make some recommendations about lifestyle changes, things like that. You're going to have to start eating fruits and vegetables. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. Fat and he's, and he, you know, he's willing to do the juicing. The problem with juicing is you get rid of the fiber you and you really fiber. need fiber. The fiber so is what helps. you need to supplement with fiber. Is yeah. the fiber what helps keep your insulin? Keeps the insulin down, levels yeah. down, and it really kind of offsets the load of blood sugar. You know, if, if the blood sugar is rising, but you have fiber, it kind of prevents it from going up. Real you know high. what? Get a Vitamix, because then that you can just put the you put it all in, and you get all the pulp and everything, and you drink it all together. I oh, that's what that's that. what that's what we were talking that's about. That's what we were talking about. The, 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 I do a lot of Smoothie Kings in the morning and for lunch, and it's sugar. just a lot of just a lot of. Yeah, I thought I'm doing myself a justice, but I, but there's too much sugar in all there's the a lot uh, of sugar, yeah. in the fruit. But yeah. uh, so that was another suggestion that some of my primary care physicians that I call on were telling me, like, you need to switch over to Get the vegetable the sugar, juicing. Yeah. And yes, the fiber is something I definitely have been addressing yeah. since yeah. I got this. It's definitely an education. It's a process, right. and I just appreciate that you guys are here and you're offering this to people, and you're like helping us all learn more. I learn something every time I sit down with you guys. Um, you. Can talk to your doctor if you're interested in getting the HDL test. We will have Dr. Dahl and her colleagues back with us every Tuesday to learn more about how their testing can help you and your family. You can get more information about the Health Diagnostic Laboratory by going to their website, hdlabinc.com. You can also call them at the numbers right there on your screen. And we are back with more broadcasts right after this.